Hey guys, Graphic Electronics here, and today I'm, I thought I would show you guys how to create a nice starburst effect in Adobe Photoshop CS3. So the first thing that you're going to want to do for this tutorial is go to File, New, and then create a new project, and the width is going to be 500 and the height 500, and then click OK. Now you should have a project that looks like this. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go over to your background layer, right click and go to layer from background and then just name it. I'm just going to name mine background. And then now you can use it for the gradient. So now what you're going to want to do is hold down shift and make sure that your gradient colors are black to white or some type of colors that you're going to want your starburst effect to be. So just go to the bottom and drag it straight up so it's a straight line and then all hold and shift and then let go and then now as you can see it created a uh, gradient effect after you've created your gradient effect you want to go up here to where it says filter and then go to distort and then once you're in distort you want to go to where it says wave so go down to wave click on that and then now you want to set your settings just like I have them here for number of generators you want to keep that on 5 go to wavelength uh, the minimum you want to have that on 10 and the max 120 for your amplitude your minimum has to be 5 the max has to be 35 and for your hor horizontal and vertical make them both 100% now the next thing that you want to do is go up here to where it says type and go to square after you've done that just click OK and then now you'll see you have these striped line gradient effect on it. So the next step to get the starburst effect is to go back up to filter, distort, and then you want to go down here to where it says polar cordon, coordinates. And then as you can see, it has this nice effect right there. And then you just want to keep it on rectangular to polar and then click OK. Now there you go, now you have this nice starburst effect in Adobe Photoshop CS3. And remember you can change the colors however you want, just it's basically totally up to you how you want your colors to be. And this can go like behind, behind your words and everything. But anyways you guys, thanks for watching this tutorial, hope it helped and please rate, comment and subscribe.